So here I am today at Hunter Aerospace. Uh, oh, wrong logo, other shoulder. Uh, to chest fly this aeroplane that's uh, just had the G3X touch put in, Garmin 650, sorry, 750 put in, uh, G5 as well, and oh, another G5 over there. Uh, I'm going to test fly for the customer, make sure it all works. It's also got the GFC 500 autopilot put in. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice panel. They've done a very, very good job. Um, this particular aeroplane's a Q model 182, which is, in my opinion, the pick of the 182s. They um, seem to be a little bit lighter than the later ones, but still with plenty of power with the, the, um, the 470 in it. Uh, so, going to uh, get a walk around of this aeroplane, make sure all the important bits are there, we'll fire it up, go and make sure all these nice screens work. So, just looking at the maintenance release, this aeroplane's only got three and a half thousand hours total time on it so it's only only just run in and you can tell that's um that's i'm assuming all the original paneling and still in excellent condition uh, the g3x touch nice big screen uh, i've only used one once before and that was um it was in a glass f3 i think that was um you can see that the it's got a go around button there that you can't see for the glare you can hit as you uh, push the power up on a go around and that'll bring up your flight director so that then you can um, you can follow the flight director for the missed approach path very uh, very well equipped 182 make the uh, make my favorite 182 into even uh, even better of an airplane the boys are giving it a good polish I really do like the red Joe Fills me full of positivity. There's Mick, under Aerospace's chief engineer, on a very important call. All looks good, got plenty of petrol. So we'll shortly fire it up and go and have a play with all these televisions. Here we are, established in cruise. Have a look at the features of the G3X Touch. Uh, so it even can have VNCs or VTCs, whatever you want selected on there. And even, look at this, when I twist the heading bug, which the autopilot is currently following, it even gives us the line as to where the heading bug is on the map. We're currently at the GFC 500 in alt hold mode and heading hold mode. We can go full screen. And we've got our flight plan in there. We're not actually following at the moment, but uh, we're in heading mode. And you can see that as we change anything on the G3X, so heading, you can see it changes on the G5, changes on the other G5. We can also adjust everything by the autopilot, and once again, changes it on everything else. For, a, uh, for an old aeroplane, it's a very integrated cockpit. It's, uh, it's just like the Mini G1000, really. Charlie, so you can see here that when we've got nav mode engaged on the autopilot, it's flying our nav track, which is there on the map. You can see that the TCAS even gives us aircraft regos, and it gives us boxes to fly through. So if we were hand flying without the autopilot on, we could just steer through those boxes. Such clever technology.